Hi guys, in addition to the preset modes of the Hover Air X1 flying camera, there is actually a custom mode which allows full control using a mobile phone and this greatly increases the flexibility beyond the standard built-in modes. But how exactly do you use it and is it any good? Let's find out. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to enable the custom mode on the Hover Air X1 and how well does it work and how do you control it with a mobile phone. So our first task is to put the hover into custom mode to allow us to fly it with the mobile. So we of course have to switch on the hover and then open the hover mobile app and then connect to the hover. And it's gonna to prompt to join the hover's Wi-Fi network. So this is the custom mode where we can control the hover. Now we need to ensure that the virtual joystick controller is selected, which is the actual mobile phone. And you should see some controls like this, which are the virtual joysticks, allowing the control of the hover. We're now ready to launch the hover, which can be done in the normal way. And once it's in the air, this hover is simply going to just wait for your control. And then we can control the hover with the mobile phone. For example, rotate it around, move it forward, rise up. And you should be to see a preview of what the camera is looking at on the mobile. Flying it around like this, I think it works pretty well. Now, one thing is that unlike a drone, there is no actual gears. So it's just going to move constantly at a slow speed. And there's also definitely no FPV flying with the hover, but it will allow you to get some custom shots of some objects or yourself, which is pretty cool. Now let's have a take a look at some example shots taken with the custom mode. Now the other things that's a little bit annoying is that there doesn't seem to be a way of making the joysticks fill the mobile screen, especially if you don't want the preview. If you know the way, please let me know in the comments below. Also the layout of the buttons seems to be in stuck in portrait mode and it doesn't seem to be a way of rotating them around or rotating the screen into landscape format, just like a drone controller. I find it's a little bit fiddly with the mobile phone as I find the fingers don't seem to land on the right places and I have to keep checking uh, by looking down where I'm placing them. Now the virtual controller is not very responsive like a DJI controller rocker switch for example. It's much more of a case of just pressing the button to move the drone so certainly no subtle movements. The other point to note is it is not possible to do multiple movements at the same time. For example, perhaps I want to do a rise up and tilt the gimbal down at the same time. The app doesn't seem to allow this, or it's rather impossible to do with two hands and support the phone at the same time. But having said all this, the hover is not really designed to replace a traditional drone. It's more for getting quick automated shots, but with this little extra feature to allow for some simple custom moves. So as long as you understand the restrictions and the limitations, then this hover is going to allow you some pretty quick custom shots that you can't get with any of the other automated modes. Now there is one thing you can do to make the control of the hover much more easier, and that is to use the official controller, which has recently arrived, um, and I'm just going in the process of testing it out. Now this uh, will allow you to control the drone with physical buttons rather than the flat virtual ones, so it's gonna be a lot better experience. Also, the controller allows pressing for the two buttons at the same time, like for example, rising up and tilting the gimbal down. I'm shortly gonna be releasing a video reviewing this little controller, so take a look out for that, and or even better, subscribe to be notified when that comes out. I just wanted to point out there was a better solution than using the mobile, but it's actually gonna cost you a little bit more money. Anyway, I hope that's useful to some people out there. And of course, as always, in return, I ask that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Being such a tiny channel, of course, every single subscriber, and I mean literally every single subscriber, is very valuable. So I appreciate your support, guys. Once again, take care, and I shall see you soon on another video.